Hey everybody, good morning. I'm on super early today because we have a busy day with preschool and um, swimming lessons and then some, um, my mom's group is meeting later on tonight. So I wanted to hop on right now. And if you're a mom and you're catching this, you probably are catching it on nap time or while your kids eat or while they're still in bed. Um, these, I just wanted to share with you guys and just because I want to be real and authentic with things that I share and, um, you know, just be realistic with some things. And I was thinking yesterday in the shower, cause I have one week until baby is born and I'm still pregnant <laughs> right now. And, um, I just got thinking about all the emotions with my first. And if you've never had kids, or you're pregnant with your first, this may not, you may not fully understand that and that's okay. But, um, when I had Liam, I felt so prepared and so ready. And then he came and I just felt this distance from him. And, um, and I'll probably share more about it as the new baby comes too, but I was not able to breastfeed with Liam and I tried so hard and it just genetically, I don't have that makeup. And that was a hard reality for me. So everything I had planned just kind of went out the window with that. Um, and the first few weeks with him, I didn't want him. And, um, I loved my son and I, I love him now and I loved him then, but it was like everything that everybody had told me, um, some of the things I was thinking was that everybody was so ready to meet this baby. Everybody was so excited for me. And then I wasn't excited to have him. And then I felt guilty and then I felt like, well, what kind of a mom am I to feel that way? And you feel like you are alone feeling like that way. You feel like you're the only one that feels that way um, because everyone else is so excited. And I feel like um, maybe some moms don't have that, that mom guilt or that, that thought. But I remember coming home with Liam and you know, your hormones all over the place. I like couldn't be in the same room with him when his diaper got changed. I was like, I can't do this and walked out of the room and I cried ball during his very first bath. And like, he wasn't doing anything. I just was like, I can't handle this. I can't do this. I don't want to do this. And, um, there's this book I'm reading or that I read and you know, you get on Amazon and they're like, read this book, read this book. And so I buy them all and then I read them and I'm not usually a lovey dovey mom person, but, um, this book that I read just totally spoke to me and I'll show you guys in a second. It's called hope unfolding by Becky Thompson. And, um, it was just totally got me. And, uh, I actually pre-ordered her next book called love unending about how to make your marriage better, better. And she, with that, you get some like pre-order gifts. And she sent this, um, like five page thing about mom guilt. And I read it last night and I was like, yes, that's exactly how I feel. And I want to read you something that she wrote. So this is from this little mom guilt packet. And she said, a new mom might feel overwhelmed by all that is asked of her. And then something in her own heart says, but this is my baby. You shouldn't feel overwhelmed. You should feel grateful. You should feel blessed. Don't you know how many women would love to be taking care of a sweet baby like yours? Suddenly she doesn't just feel overwhelmed by her new role as a mama. She feels guilty about how she feels about her new role as a mama. She feels as though her feelings are wrong and this steals her joy even more. And so um, with number two, it's like, I'm aware of all those things that I could feel guilty about and bad about. There's so many instances. I feel like whether you're a stay at home mom, whether you're a working mom, whatever with your kids, where you do something, you do the best you can. And then you're like, I'm, I'm just not good at this, or I don't want to do this. And then you feel bad about how you feel. Like I was reading an article the other day that a friend sent me about how moms are usually the default parent. Like dad is home and like I'll be in the shower. Liam will go past Nathan to come to me to ask him to like put his shoes on and I'm in the shower. Like we are the default parent. And when we don't want to be the default parent or we don't want to do that, we feel guilty. And then we feel like, well, I shouldn't even be this kid's mom. Like who am I to do that? And then we just get in this cycle of mom guilt and maybe resenting our kids. And you know, all those feelings I had with Liam, I'm, I feel like I'm worried about them coming back again. Um, because I have enough friends and enough women I was talking to even yesterday that postpartum is real and we shouldn't feel bad about the things that we go through. Even I was talking to my sister-in-law this weekend and, um, my nephew is eight and then her littlest is a year old. So there's a big gap there. And she was like, you know, I don't think I had postpartum, but I mourned that time with just my oldest son. Cause it was he and I for eight years. And I thought, gosh, I never thought of that. And right now it's just me and Liam and I can prepare him as much as possible. And people ask like, is Liam excited? I'm like, 
how can a three-year-old be excited? He doesn't get it. And that'll come. It'll come in his own time when he realizes this baby is here to stay. But just this feeling of, I'm not going to be good enough for him because I'm not just Liam's anymore. I'm not going to be good enough for this new baby because I won't probably be able to breastfeed again. And, um, you know, what if we can't, you know, we are struggling financially or whatever it is. It's just like, I feel like as moms, we're continually beat down by this. And a lot of us chemically or for whatever reason are go through postpartum. Like that's a real thing. So if you have ever felt that way, I want you to know that I'm going to pray for us as moms, if you have littles or if you have bigs or whatever, because I don't feel like it goes away. Um, I feel like at any stage in our life, we would experience this guilt. Um, I remember when I had Liam and I couldn't breastfeed, I felt like I was made incorrectly. Like I resented God. I resented my body. I just felt like, well, this is not right. Nobody told me this. No one told me that you weren't able to do it. And, um, and I got talking to my mom and during that time, and I remember, I think I gave her mom guilt because she was like, well, I created you and you're not able to do that. So there must be something wrong with me. So it's like at any stage in our life, we're hitting this mom guilt. And I was 28 years old and I was giving my mom mom guilt. Um, but I just want you to know that, and I was thinking about this last night because Nathan and I were in bed and we were talking and we were both very, very stressed right now by things in our, in our business and our life. And, um, Nathan's trying to finish a big church project and he's not here a lot. And there's a lot of demands on him. And, um, and he's concerned he's not going to be here for the new baby very much just because of the demands. And while that's not fair and I don't like that, that's life. So, um, you know, we were just thinking about all these things and I'm like, I have nothing. I have nothing. You know, I'm dealing with all this mom guilt. I'm dealing with, am I going to be emotional? I'm going to have postpartum. And everyone's so excited to meet our new, to meet baby brother. And I'm like, what if it's awful? What if it's terrible? What if I don't want him again? And I might not for a second. So you guys will see me post these happy pictures of him. But what if I don't want him? <laughs> um, I remember seeing Liam in that first week, like, give him back. What do I do? How do I get rid of him? That's so awful. But that is the truth. And I want to be real. Um, because maybe you felt that way about your kids. Not that you don't love them, but maybe you had that feeling for a brief time. Um, and there's times now I don't want Liam, but that's for good reason. <laughs> But um, we were just thinking about all these things, and I was like, I don't have the answer. I don't know the answer to it. But I do know that if nothing else, that we serve a God that goes before us and levels the mountains and clears away. And, sorry, um, that's all I have. That's all I have is Jesus and God. Like, So if you have mom guilt, and if you feel like, you're a bad mom at times. I just want to, today, as soon as this video is over, I'm going to pray for us as moms that we aren't trapped, we get in this cycle, that we aren't trapped by what the devil wants us to feel about ourselves because it's not true. And the more and more we tell ourselves that it is true, we just keep with the cycle, keep going and going. So if you've ever had mom guilt or you know, feel like you've been postpartum or you're still postpartum, hang in there, get help. I mean, certainly get help if you need it. Know that it's a real thing, but know that you serve a God that is going before you, that is making a way where there is no way. And let that be your anchor during that time. And every time you feel like a mom guilt thing, just think like, no, that's not, that's not who God says I am. That's not who I am. I'm going to show you guys this book because it's really, really good if you want it. And, um, it's called hope. Let me flip this around. Um, okay, this is the book that I bought. It's called Hope Unfolding. Great for moms. And then she has another one out. I got it on Amazon. That's the cheapest place to get it. Um, or you can follow her on Facebook. She gives tons of great, um, I think it's scissor silk, scissor tail silk. I don't know what that means. But um, it's a great book. The cheapest I found it was on Amazon. And then her next book is called Love Unending about how to revive your marriage and that comes out in January. And if you pre-order it before the 31st, I think you get like a bunch of free gifts. So like I got this, um, this was the mom guilt like document. It was like 18 pages or something. So hope unfolding is. But moms, I just want you to know that you're not alone in how you feel. I was talking to my good friend yesterday. She's like, are you excited? I'm like, kind of <laughs> like, I know what's coming. I know 
that it's hard. And I know that that pain is, is coming. Um, and we're so excited to meet him, but, um, I just wanted to give realness and authentic authenticity to this, this newborn phase that it's, everyone's getting ready and excited, but maybe you're not. And that's okay. So if you've ever felt that way, or if you've ever felt like the mom guilt, the postpartum, the crazy hormones, the, I don't want my child. I'm not made for this child to be this child's mom. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. And I feel like I'm there now. Um, so, uh, just know that as this video ends, I'm going to say a prayer for us as moms and I'm going to pray that God would go before us. There's a verse in Isaiah, I don't know it now. It's like 48 or 53 that God goes before us. He moves mountains. He breaks down, um, bars of steel, you know, cuts through all these things so that you have a God that is already going before that situation. And, you know, so as I lay at night in, in the shower and I'm thinking, I'm praying for a baby that sleeps. I'm pay, praying for, you know, uh, Liam to have a kind heart. I'm praying for Liam to all these like trite things. Um, I know that I have a God that goes before and is going to make a way where there is no way. So when I have the mom guilt, that's where I'm relying on. I'm going back to that. I'm going back to that, leaning on that when I've always had that. So I hope that, um, I don't know if this has been encouraging because I'm sort of a downer, <laughs> like mom guilt, but I want you to know that if you felt that way, you're not alone and, um, that I'm right there with you and, you know, reach out to me and we can pray together or we can brainstorm some ways to, you know, try to build ourselves up as women and build ourselves up as moms and encourage each other as moms. And so if you have a mom group that you can go to, go to that, reach out and don't be afraid to tell somebody that you don't like something about motherhood or that this is, you know, a struggle for you because I guarantee somebody is going through the exact same thing and they need to life to be breathed into them as well. So be encouraged with that today. If you're a mom out there with big or littles, I'm going to pray for us all. Um, at the, once this video is over and I'm just going to pray specifically for you. If you're hearing this message that you were meant to hear this today, that God loves you, that Satan will try to destroy you, but that we serve a bigger God that says, this is my child. I love her. She is meant to be this child's mom. And so let's end mom guilt and, you know, get the help that we need for postpartum, but just know that, um, that God is there. If you have anything else, God is there. And I'm going to pray for us after this video. So I hope you guys have an encouraging day and I will update you if anything happens with, um, baby brother. And if, He's on his way or whatever. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.